Hello, hello. Welcome to your next workout and thanks so much for joining. So today we are using two special props, the mini band, which this is a medium tension. I would go anywhere from a medium to a light. And we also have our small Pilates ball. So thus far in a lot of our exercises, we've been staying pretty close to the ground, either laying on our back or laying on our side, which is a great way to have feedback of, do I feel my ribs expanding down into the ground? Can I feel that I can keep my spine fairly neutral? So I'm not overarching when I'm trying to do core engagements. However, that's not a typical life. We're not always laying on our back and laying on our side. So we need to start working with gravity and on a hands and knees position is a really nice progression to where we can start to feel still stable, but feel how the belly might want to pull forward to the grounds. And so we really have to work hard to activate those deep core muscles. So then our back isn't just hanging out with the use of the props. We're just going to add some resistance in those shapes. We will finish with some specific core work on our back, just to kind of let the back relax a little bit and take some of that tension off the hands. So that being said, I am going to go ahead and come up onto my hands and knees and then bringing the ball in between the inner thighs. So the movement here, so we can just warm up into our breath, into some core activation, the spine will be neutral. And you'll breathe in through your ribs, through the belly. And then on your exhale, I want you to just gently squeeze the ball and feel the belly corset away from the ground. So we've done these before. Let's try it a few more times. We breathe in and then exhale, gently squeeze. Awesome. Okay. One more time. Breath in. And then feel the corset squeezing, hugging everything in. Okay. So something to be aware of, and we talked about this in class as well, is that when you are getting all of your exhale out, sometimes there can be a tendency to push the rest of it, which then is going to put a unnatural loading or pressure through the belly. So if you would see and or feel your low belly kind of pooch or puff, then we know that we're pushing and instead of engaging. So just really focus on trying not to force that breath out and just take your time and getting it all the way out at the end there before you reset with that inhale. All right, so let's move the ball now from underneath or from the inner thighs you're going to take the, the ball right underneath your right hand. And we're going to start with leg extensions out long. So again, we've done these before, but we're going to work into a progression with this. So as you push your right hand down to the ball, tap your left leg out long and then inhale, bring it back in. Exhale. Inhale, bring it back in one more on the side. and return. So I'll switch it over to the left hand. We're going to do three on each, si each side before we progress to the next round. When I'm extending my leg long behind, I mean, you want you to feel like you're engaging through your glutes. So you squeeze your butt. <laughs> so we feel that nice energy from the seat all the way down through the leg until your heel. So from here, we'll let's take it three times. You'll exhale, right leg, inhale, return. Exhale, inhale, return. Last time, exhale, and bring it back. Good. Switch that ball back over to the right hand, and you're going to keep just a very subtle pressure onto the ball this whole time. So don't worry about forcing it down. If anything, you want to keep these shoulders pretty even. It's going to add more as an instability. So the right hand is on and I want you to lift your left leg and extend it out. Now, sometimes when we lift the leg, we'll start to roll those hips up. So I want you to see if you can square the hips down towards the ground and we'll take a breath in. Now on your exhale, you're going to round through your spine. Good. Inhale, lengthen back out. 
Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen back out. Take that one more time. Exhale. And reach it out. Bring the knee down and let's switch. So the ball is now underneath the left hand. We have our right leg reaching out long behind. I'm going to try to square my hips down towards the ground. And as I bring the, my thigh in, I'm exhaling. Very subtle rounding through that low back. Inhale, trying to reach out long, nice neutral spine. So I exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Good, last one. Inhale, lengthen, and then return, knee back down. So take a moment, just sit back onto your heels, take a few rotations through the wrists. I know that can be a lot going from um, being on the hands there. So when you're practicing, if you do feel any type of wrist tenderness, I would just pause, shake it out, give a couple rotations, even warming up with some figure eights through the wrists, circles through the wrists is a really nice um, preparatory move when you're going to do anything on the hands and knees, or if you're going to be doing anything like planks. So always good to prep the body. Let's go ahead and come back now to where we're going to move the ball to the side and we're actually going to grab our mini bands and place them up onto our outer thighs. So above the knee, but then we'll come back onto the hands and knees position and working some activation now through our seat and through these outer hips. The challenge is when we're lifting the legs into our fire hydrant that we don't drop the weight from side to side. So that's where that good activation through our core is necessary. So I'm going to start with my left knee opening out to the side on the exhale. Inhale, bring it back in. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, return. So again, when you open, you're going to feel a lot of the weight shift. So see if you can grip the ground with your fingertips, with your hands, rather than kind of letting that tension sink into your wrists or into your shoulders. Let's take two more on that side. So we'll exhale. Inhale, return. And then last one. Good. Bring it back in. Shift down into your forearms. Same side, the left leg now is going to be extending out long. So I'm going to tap my foot to the ground. Inhale, bring it back in. Exhale. Inhale, bring it back in. Upper body's nice and stationary. Okay, so we're not dropping those shoulders from side to side. You have two more of your tap outs, getting that good length and activation from your seat all the way to your heel. And then last one, bringing it back. Good. Okay. Press yourself up. We're going now fire hydrant on the right side. So adjust your shoulders, feel your belly again, gently pull away from the ground. And when you're ready, right knee opens, bring it back down. And we're taking five all together. So you have two more. And then last one. Good. All right. Shift back down to those forearms. Right leg now is the one tapping out. So when you're ready, again, the belly is still engaging, pulling away from the earth, strong through your upper body, five tap outs. Really nice. If you felt yourself starting to shift onto that left side, see if you can place a little bit of weight back into your right elbow, bring it in and relax. All right. So we're going to take the band off of the thighs. You can come through to your seat to do so. We'll take that guy off and just setting the band to the side is fine. Let's actually roll down onto our back. And your knees are going to start in a bent position. So keep your band close because we're going to use it in a moment, but not quite yet. 
starting with some of our dead bug variations that we practiced in class. So the arms are going to go straight up over the chest and shoulders. And let's start with our heel slides with an arm going opposite arm going overhead. So your right heel is going to slide along the ground as your left arm reaches and then exhale, bringing it back. Let's alternate left heel, right arm, bringing it back. Good. Let's do a few more on each side. Feeling the ribs hug in and down when your leg is extending now and arm is reaching overhead, feeling that your low back is not overly arching away from the mat. Last one. Good. Okay. So now I'm going to take the band and I'm going to place the band back on my legs in Let's do around the calves area, so below the knee. And I want you to widen, so you, the feet will be down. You're going to widen the stance to where you feel tension on the band and where the knees almost want to feel like they want to cave inwards. So you're going to have some pressure. It's going to start to build through that outer hips and thighs. And we're going to use our upper body to help bring these ribs down as we create a little tension through the lower. All right, so we inhale, right arm. Exhale. Inhale, left. Exhale. Good, so as we move from side to side, it's really easy just to focus on all of the tension through the band. <laughs> so this is where the breath is really important, just to help keep you focused on what else is firing and active through your body. All right, take two more. And then last one. And relax. <laughs> if you felt like that was a lot of pressure through the outer parts of your shins and calves, it's intentional. And that's really so we can help stimulate those intricate muscles around our joints while we strengthen our outer hips as well. So I'll have you reach forward, grab hold of your band. And then if you can place the band now up around the forearms, closer towards your elbows, the arms are going to be right back up over the chest and shoulders. And we're going to lift the, or excuse me, both feet starting down. So as you lightly press out from your arms, you're going to be to the sides of the room, I want you to lift your right leg into a tabletop. Inhale, tap it down. Exhale, left leg. Inhale, lower. Exhale, right. Return, left. Return, keeping backs of the shoulders anchored onto the ground. Chest stays nice and open. One more on that left side and release. Okay. We'll take the band off, put it down to the ground and go back more into a traditional dead bug now. So the arms are back up over chest and shoulders and let's lift right leg into a tabletop, left leg into a tabletop and hold. Now to help support our low back, I want you to compress your low back to the ground. So then we're not in overly arching through the spine. We're going to reverse march to where right heel taps down on the inhale, exhale, restack, left heel. We go inhale, right, inhale, left, right, inhale, left, right. And left and pause, hug the knees in, relax. All right, you're doing so great. I know it, I know it. Okay, we're finishing up with the full dead bug. If the heel taps down feel um, too easy, if you're like, I think I got this, try with a leg extending all the way along. So I will demonstrate. So we're either in the modified position where you're 
tapping a heel down, tapping a heel down, or you're extending the leg out to where it's floating. The leg goes out. Okay. So pick your poison, either heel taps or leg extensions, or maybe you try a couple of each. Okay. So I'm going to start with my heel taps and work for the last few of those leg extensions. So we're going to do right arm behind left heel down to begin. So we'll inhale, left arm, right arm, left, right. One more time on the left. Now I'm going to add those leg extensions. So right arm, left, one more time on the left, hug it in and relax. Good job. Feet can come down. Let's go ahead and heel toe those feet just a few uh, inches wider than hip distance. Arms can come out to a T. And we'll take this really gentle windshield wiper of the knees from side to side to finish up. So as you do move from side to side, I want you to feel that the rotation is coming from, you know, your mid back area. We don't want to be overly pulling through the low back. You're getting this nice stretch along the side of the waist, across the front of the belly. So all of these areas that we don't think about holding tension, but when we're stressed, when we're anxious, even when we're excited, you know, our abdominal muscles will clench or will grip or during the cold, our body will grip in certain ways. So, you know, right now it's just an opportunity to kind of open up a little bit more space just by slowing things down and breathing with the movement. We'll take that one more time from side to side. And then you can carefully bring the knees back up, roll to your side. And when you're ready, coming all the way back up. All right, my friend, fabulous job moving through that series. If you'd like that whole flow, um, once is great, but if you feel like, okay, I can get another set in, I think. Go for it another two, three times. I will see you next time.